Hey everyone, I promised you a Q&A, so here it is. Uh, first question, which is not really a question. How to start with OpenGL? It gets so weird and a bit tough. Well, to start, you can just watch my tutorial series <laughs> or uh, read the articles from learnopengl.com. And yeah, it gets a bit tough sometimes, mathematically speaking, but I'm not really sure what to say about that. Like, just look up explanations for math stuff on YouTube, basically. Like, I mentioned three blue, one brown before. Just watch that <laughs> for linear algebra. For other stuff, I don't know, Khan Academy or something. So the second question is, my question is that can I only make a game engine with OpenGL or can I make a game directly without making game engine with OpenGL? Um, you can make a game directly without having a game engine in OpenGL and I would ask actually suggesting that if you care more about the game rather than the game engine itself. So the third question, how long have you been programming and since when you started working with OpenGL? I've been programming since the second semester of my first year of university and I'm now going into my third year, so a year and a half, a bit more than that, a bit more than a year and a half. And when did I start working with OpenGL? Well, that was when I made my first tutorial in OpenGL, basically that, that was the first time. I just learned how to install OpenGL and I immediately made a tutorial on it. Then I learned the next step and made a tutorial and so on, and I'm still learning, I'm not an expert, but as I said in my previous video, I think like if you're a beginner in something and you're teaching that thing that you've just learned, you have a different perspective from an expert, which might be beneficial for the ones learning. Fourth question, will you make videos about collision detection and physics related things? Yes, yes I will, as soon as I'm done with the OpenGL series which will be in about two months, maybe three months, something like that. As soon as, as, soon as I'm done with that, I'm going to start the physics uh, series, since that was the most voted thing in a poll I made in the community tab. Fifth question, or I don't know, I'm not even keeping count at this point. Hi Victor, I was wondering if you had any advice to give new programmers. I know there are a lot of videos on this, but I am curious to hear your opinion. Yeah, sure, I got a few pieces of advice. First of all, try not to get stuck in one programming language because I think programming is not really about the languages that you use but about like the whole mindset. I, I think that's really important because I've seen some of my classmates who almost relate programming itself to one programming language and that is not really good, in my opinion. Unless you just stick with that language forever, I guess. But I don't see why you would really do that. It's good to pick and choose different languages. Even though some people might say, oh, this language is the best one, this is like the worst or whatever. I don't really think there is any best language. I would also suggest Starting with a high-level language, something like Python maybe, but then qu relatively quickly also looking at some more low-level languages, such as like C or C++, because some of the stuff in Python just seems like magic. I mean, and again, I saw classmates uh, <laughs> having this problem, so to say, that they got so used to Python and just like some of the stuff in there is just like, I don't know, for the stuff in an array, let's say, and Python just figures out what that stuff is. Well, <laughs> that's not how it works in other programming languages such as C++. So when they switch to uh, C and they try to do that, the, of course, it did not work. And they had to put a lot more thought into communicating to the machine in more precise terms rather than the really vague terms in Python. So start high because starting low is painful and <laughs> then also look at the low level stuff and 
try different languages out. And also some people say that you don't really need mathematics for programming and you don't really need it, especially if you do if you don't do math stuff, math uh, heavy stuff. But I think it helps, honestly. Though I might be biased since I used to do physics and mathematics before. So next question. How long do you think, if you work at it a lot, someone could learn C++ basics and OpenGL basics and maybe even become an intermediate at both of them? Well, uh, the basics, well, C++ basics, you can get them down pretty fast. I mean, if we're just talking, for me, basics means just knowing a bit of syntax. So that can like take a day or two and OpenGL that will definitely take a bit longer the OpenGL basics I guess that would be everything up to my 14th tutorial that can take you a bit it all depends on you if you're a really experienced programmer then it will probably take you less but if not it will take you longer I don't know, anything from between a few days to like a month or two, something like that. Beginner versus expert, but where exactly do you put the intermediate between those? I honestly have no idea. So, could be years, could be months, um, depends on your definition of intermediate. Next question, Unity or Unreal? Uh, Unreal, I suppose, because it seems to be going in a much nicer direction than Unity right now. How did you get into OpenGL and graphics programming as a whole? Well, I got into OpenGL because I really like procedural generation and I wasn't happy with what I could do in Unity or Unreal, so I just decided I'll learn graphics to do my procedural generation basically that's it and now <laughs> i'm more into i might be more into graphics than procedural generation so yeah <laughs> okay you know I, I got like three different questions from kyle the first one would you ever consider going over compiling and building an opengl application from the command line like outside of visual studios uh, no, <laughs> uh, that's a bit too low level for me personally. Working with the command line, I do not enjoy command lines. I like having my GUI just because I'm a very visual oriented person. Oh, and also a second question for the first question. Would there ever be a day you go about showing us how to compile from the command line from Windows? Yeah, I mean, I might do that at one point just to see what it's like how much of a pain it is i've done that a bit before but yeah it's not very fun in my opinion but i might do that at some point second question will you ever have a twitter slash discord slash patreon slash all of them to follow i joined the community throw a few bucks your way thank you for that and Twitter, uh, I'll see about that. Twitter seems a bit, <laughs> Twitter seems a bit uh, unfriendly to say the least, uh, a bit toxic. Uh, Discord, yeah, I've made a Discord server and it should be down in the description. I've also made a Patreon, so you can check it out down in the description. And if you got some stair change and basically have some money laying around, you can throw it at me, and I'll try to make this series better by buying better equipment because right now I'm not very happy with the audio so hopefully that will be better in the future. Third question, uh, thoughts on doing some Vulcan work in the very distant, I'm sure, future? Yes. What is your favorite breakfast food? Well, that's a really easy question, that's just million cereals. Uh, and this will sound like heresy to most of you, but like 90% of the time, I heat up my milk uh, and I also put my milk first and then the cereals. So yeah, deal with it. Uh, the cereals are 
90% of Italian Cheerios or like honey loops or whatever you want to call them. And I've been eating that breakfast basically every day since I was six or seven, I think. So I don't really have another breakfast. <laughs> another question. Uh, this one from someone else. By the way, I like to listen to some stories about your learning days. Sure, well, I might be able to do videos about that. Uh, I'll see. And for having variety, how have you done in university? Well, I'm still in university. I did really well in my first year. I had basically all A straight A's, almost, with a B plus, I think. From like the 10 courses I had, I had a B plus and everything else was A's or A pluses or A minus it. Um, and second year, not so well, since that's when Corona started, and yeah, it's just not good. And now I'm doing kind of fine, like the second semester of the second year was pretty good. And he's also asking how I've done with programming in, uni in university, I guess. Good, again, I'm still not over with university, but so far, I don't think I've got anything lower than an A in my programming courses. So, yeah, really good. <laughs> I enjoyed a lot. Had pretty good teachers in my programming courses as opposed to some of my other courses. So, I'm happy with that. <laughs> and uh, what's my skill level? Well, I think it's about, it's, I think it's about average since, as I said, I've been doing maths and physics before that. So, I got my problem solving down. And the maths I do in programming now with OpenGL and stuff like that is significantly easier, I would say, than the stuff I did in physics. So, yeah, it, it's not as hard, basically. And it's a lot more visual, so uh, that, that's a big plus for me. How did I learn programming? Uh, I tried to learn programming when I was younger. Like in high school, I think I tried in middle school and in high school. And in both of those occasions, uh, I tried C++ and Python. I think those were the two languages I tried to learn. But they just, they just didn't stick with me. All I wanted to do was add some damn numbers, since... <laughs> That's what I, that's most of my programming right now as well. I just add numbers most of the time and put them into arrays and make sense of those arrays in some way. And that's all I wanted to do. But I just couldn't get why it's so hard to just add some numbers. Oh, I was like, in C++, it was so annoying that, oh, well, before we can just add two numbers, we have to do like, include something. Okay, why is there like a hash in the include? Uh, why do I have to include something? What does including mean? What is that thing that I'm including? Uh, why am I writing int? What, what's an int? Why am, why am I then writing main? Why do I have like 10 lines just to add two numbers basically? And in Python, it was just like, oh, uh, Again, like a lot of the stuff I just didn't get, I just didn't get why I had to write so much syntax just to add numbers. And the second time, like I mean, the time I actually learned to program, which was in the second semester of my university degree, I started with Racket, which you might have never heard of. It's a programming language that's pretty niche, I guess. But that just, I really like that. And it just stuck to me and the teacher was Pretty, pretty good. What about your childhood days? Were you naughty? No, I was uh, usually the favorite of the teachers in my school classes. So yeah, no, I, I was really nice. <laughs> I got into a few fights, like, but that's it. They were very rare and they were because of bullying. So it, it wasn't just random stuff. Uh, what's my job? I do not have a job, I'm a student. <laughs> 
Even if you master programming, does it still feel like, what have I put myself into? Is programming still that hard even at that level? Also, do you need to learn all languages and APIs to get a job? Well, I haven't mastered programming, so I can't answer that question. And also, I can't answer the second question, since that's depends on, on the first question. Uh, and I highly doubt you need to learn all languages, since there is a shit ton of them. Also with APIs, no. No, just no. What college did you go to, if any, and what's your favorite meme? Well, I am right now in my third year at Amsterdam University College, which is more like a program between uh, the University of Amsterdam and the Free University of Amsterdam. And for my meme, well, I don't really have a favorite meme, but one that I've been enjoying lately was like the Anakin Skywalker one, like this one. But this one is not really a question, but compiling OpenGL project on Windows, but not with Visual Studio C++ compiler. Well, to do that, I think you just need to change the compiler. Uh, I haven't tried it myself, but uh, I believe that there is a setting in Visual Studio where instead of using the default compiler, you can just change to another one. And I think that's it. Yeah, <laughs> I, I think that's all you have to do. Glad versus glue, and what's the difference between them? Um, I would go for glad since that's what I'm using, and I doubt there is a lot of different differences between them. They're they're just used to get you up and going with OpenGL. That's all. Choose whatever you want, honestly. As long as you get that OpenGL context in the end, all's good. Can you make a series where you make a complete game using OpenGL for beginners because learning by doing projects is best rather than learning lessons on drawing triangles? I might do it, but first I'll be making a lot of tutorials like I've been doing. Which is better, C versus C++ and Linux versus Windows? What are you gonna ask me next, uh, Vim versus Emacs? Uh, it all depends on your needs. I mean. Really, if you really need that low level uh, part, then go for C. If you want stuff to be a bit more higher level, go for C++. Uh, Linux versus Windows, definitely Windows, honestly. Uh, Linux, I do not have the patience to deal with that. I see people that have Linux and use it, and they usually have compatib uh, compatibility problems with software that they are made to use basically because of their job or school or whatever so yeah windows the, the control on linux is nice but i would give that up just for being able to make stuff work and the last question is how are you doing wow okay everybody asks uh what are you doing but nobody asks uh how are you doing thank you uh, I'm doing fine. <laughs> I'm really enjoying uh, making tutorials on this channel, it's really fun and it's a nice learning experience for me as well. So, yeah, so I'm basically killing uh, two birds with one stone. Nice. So, since that was the last question, I'll just end it here. I'll probably do another QA when I get to 2024 subs. Nice power stuff, dude. So, see you then. Bye.